Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Markus and today we're talking about the latest firmware update for the LG CX 044070 at least here in Australia and it just popped up maybe a couple of hours ago maybe this early morning and I updated it and I did some testing of course the TV is running the whole day. I of course checked everything from HDMI ports to yeah, calibration and stuff like that and so far I can actually tell you there's no issue at all with my model and I have the 65 inch version okay so this is to consider but anyway at the moment after the update everything is hunky dory. So let's start with HDMI ports because as you may remember after an update and this is already a long time ago I had actually issues with one of my HDMI ports. I think it was HDMI port number three but after that update again very long time ago my Xbox Series X was not capable anymore to display Dolby Vision in 120 Hertz. Just after a factory reset on the TV it was working as it should be. So I haven't done any factory reset on my TV after the update and I checked all my HDMI ports with my Xbox Series X and Dolby Vision and my PlayStation 5 as well. There is no issue this time. So I can confirm after the updates all my HDMI ports are working as they should be. But what about calibration? What about maximum peak brightness in HDR and Dolby Vision? And no worries, I covered this as well. So what I can say is that my calibration is still the same. And when I actually verified this, I just found that I have to do something because it's not perfect anymore. But as you can see, there is still no problem at all. All my settings are still in the TV as I, yeah, Leave or left them actually so there was nothing changed at all and also in terms of the maximum peak brightness on a 10 percent window I measured around 680 nits which is quite common for LG ZX after a D65 calibration and doing games and I always actually using cyberpunk with the um, bathroom scene where you have this very bright light. I measured actually in HDR10 690 candela and the same with Dolby Vision also over 690 candela which is quite good for the LG CX. But what about the audio return channel over HDMI? Is there any issue and I'm very sorry but I can't answer this question because there is nothing connected where this TV is right now installed. Back then when the LG CX was installed here on my Pioneer receiver there was never any problem with the audio return channel but I know that many 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 people are actually reporting issues with the audio return channel and it's it's understandable why because we have so many different AV receivers sound bars and stuff like that so there is of course a very big chance that we still have issues with the audio return channel but unfortunately I can't answer this question. Did I experience any issue after the update in terms of higher input lag, maybe flickering picture, Dolby Vision is not working, stuff like that? No, not at all. I mean, look, I just tested maybe the TV for half a day, that's it, and uh, or a couple of hours, you know, not very long, but usually when you have an issue in terms of software, then you can see this straight away. There is right now nothing picture quality is still on a very high level i'm still impressed actually always when i'm doing my testing especially when it comes to calibration that even after months and i have done my last calibration on ecx a month ago and it's still on a very high level and you need to understand that calibration on tvs will change over the time especially on older tvs so slightly but they will change anyway i couldn't find any issue so far not in terms of gaming not in terms of netflix app or amazon prime or stan or youtube absolutely everything is working as it should be so now before we ending this video let's talk about the change logs actually in this firmware version which I should do actually in the very beginning but to be very honest as always and this is the only thing what I really don't like on LG there is literally zero information out there. Okay this is not again it's not quite true because I found this actually and that's all what I found and when I translated the two funny symbols after the uh, number here then this comes up as final and 
final means final. Maybe it's really the last update what we're going to see on the CX or it's just the final version after a couple of testing. So it can mean everything, but let's see. I'm still impressed that we're getting actually firmware updates after almost three years because this is not very common, I think. But maybe I'm wrong about that as well. So put in the comment section what you think about that and actually what TV are you using? Maybe using a Samsung, Panasonic or something like that. And are you receiving still firmware updates? And if yes, for how long was this model type actually on the market? Because I'm actually quite interested in that. Because again, I think it's very good that after three years we're getting some firmware updates, bug fixes or whatever, okay? Anyway, that's enough for this video. Thank you very much for watching me. If I experience any issue with this firmware, then you will see it here on this channel, okay? Thank you very much, bye.